Importantly, not every matrix has an inverse. For example, this matrix, which has by now become so familiar to us, does not have an inverse. We should pause the video right now and explain exactly why this matrix does not have an inverse. Why it's impossible to come up with nine numbers that would result in the identity matrix. It is impossible to come up with three sets of coefficients. I'm inviting you to take the column perspective on the whole thing so that the linear combinations would result in these three vectors. Here's my explanation. The key is that these columns are linearly dependent. The middle column is the average of the other two, so the null space is non-trivial. And the column space of this matrix uh, is two-dimensional. Now we know that from the null space. If the null space is one-dimensional, then the column space is two-dimensional. But we actually also know the column space of this matrix, and it is given by this equation. Any number, any number, but the middle entry must be the average of first and thirds. Third, that's the column space of this matrix. Now, when the column space is two-dimensional, the resulting matrix cannot have a three-dimensional column space. That's because the columns of the resulting matrix are linear combinations of the columns of this matrix. So each of the columns in the resulting matrix is, by the very definition of matrix multiplication, in the column space of this matrix. So the column space of this matrix belongs to the column space of this matrix. But the column space of this matrix is three-dimensional. And a three-dimensional column space, or linear space, cannot be a subspace of a two-dimensional subspace. So these columns are also necessarily linearly dependent in this product because they are three columns in a two-dimensional subspace. So it's impossible to come up with sets of coefficients to produce three linearly independent columns, which the columns of the identity matrix certainly are. In fact, for this particular matrix, we can't even produce any one of these any one of these columns. That's because not one of these columns belongs to the column space of this matrix. The column space is characterized by the middle entry being the average of the other two. And that property is not present in any one of these columns. So that's all of this points to the fact that this matrix simply does not have an inverse. This matrix is said to be not invertible. And if there was such a thing as the inverse for this matrix, just think about the implications. Suppose this matrix was used in a system of equations, ax equals b. And if it somehow had an inverse, we would multiply both sides by that inverse consistently on the left, and we would have x equals a inverse b. This is something we've done several times already. And think about the implications. Number one, the implication would be that this system always have, has a solution. And we know that's not the case because when B is not in this column space, there are no solutions. But if there was such a thing as an inverse, well, A inverse B right here is the solution. So that would be contradiction number one. And the second contradiction is that this also indicates that there's only a single solution. And we know that for any system that involves this matrix, if there is a solution, there are necessarily infinitely many solutions because the system has a non-trivial null space. So that would be contradiction number two. So this matrix simply doesn't have an inverse. And this trick is reserved only for invertible matrices. And when you have an invertible square matrix, the system AX equals B always has a solution and always has a unique solution. And that unique solution is A inverse B. So we now know three synonyms for one property of the matrix. Columns are linearly independent, which is equivalent to rows are linearly independent, which is equivalent to saying that the matrix is invertible. In the course of our study of linear algebra, we'll come up with several more characteristics 
of invertible matrices. But for now, the primary characteristic is the linearly independent columns. And if the columns are linearly dependent, like they are in this case, the matrix does not have an inverse.